Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to merge iTunes libraries. Now iTunes will automatically save your library every so often and it will have several files. It will have an XML file which has all of the metadata of where your files are located and such and it has the actual library itself here. So let's go ahead and get started inside of iTunes. What we're going to do is go to File, Library, Organize Library. And we're going to click on Consolidate Files, which will basically organize our files for us. And if we click on OK, what that's now going to do is organize everything into the iTunes folders. And this will basically allow us to export our library into other people's libraries and put them together. Say you want to transfer a library that is only on a device, but you want to bring that into iTunes without corrupting the device or anything like that. Well, you can use Wondershare Tunes Go for such a task. After you've installed and opened the program and plug in your device, it should recognize the device. And all we have to do is click on copy music from device to iTunes and then click on start. And now it's going to scan our device and go through and copy everything to iTunes as soon as we click on copy to iTunes. And that process can take a bit depending on how large the library on the device is, but it will transfer everything to iTunes, thus merging your libraries together. Inside of our advanced preferences in iTunes, we just want to make sure that keep iTunes media folder, copy files to iTunes media, and share iTunes library XML are selected. This will ensure the optimal organization of our files. In order to actually import files from an external place using this method, all you have to do is drag your iTunes media folder into here, and everything within there, including music, videos, and things like that, will be imported into your iTunes, thus merging the libraries. And that's it for this tutorial. That is how you merge iTunes libraries.